Hey YouTube, this is Joey. I'm back for day 9, I believe. Or day 10. Day 9. Don't know. I'll put it in the subject. Anyway, uh, first of all, I learned something from uh, Karma Girl 74 who got me into doing this uh, vlog every day in October. Uh, apparently, you're not supposed to just sit down and do your videos all in just one take. Uh, which is exactly what I do. <laughs> so uh, you're supposed to like uh, rehearse it and plan it out and do multiple takes and things like that and jump cuts and do all this neat stuff. Eh, uh, screw it. I'm just gonna do it the way I do it. So um, anyway, <laughs> what was I gonna talk about today? I was gonna talk about running again today. It's gonna be a short one today because I'm running short on time and uh, I did actually make a one video uh, last night but I want to keep it in my buffer so that uh, if I really 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 have trouble getting a video made one day I can just throw that one up so I'm gonna keep that one in there and we'll see how it goes so you can see behind me first of all you can see behind me just an update on my life if you look right let me get right here on this side a lot of my junk is gone I've actually moved some of that junk and uh, some of it is DVDs and um, wow focus problems some of its DVDs and what I'm doing with my DVDs is I'm actually uh, ripping them to my hard drive and then I'm going to just take the DVDs to the use bookstore. I'm sure I'm breaking some kind of law, but um, it seemed like a smart thing to do. Anyway, so I'm ripping all my DVDs and um, I'm just going to live on my hard drive until my hard drive crashes and then I won't have those movies anymore. But that's okay. I've got Netflix for that. So, <laughs> um, let's see. And this over here has remained the same, but um, except for this which I just washed and I've got to fold it up and stick it somewhere. Uh, but things are starting to come together behind me. You can see I've actually got a fireplace over here and so uh, once I get everything uh, you know rearranged and um, how I want it uh, then I'm gonna get my little camera and do a kind of a walk around tour of my house. So uh, there's some other stuff I've changed and um, starting to get to the point where it's starting to look like I've lived here for about a month or maybe two weeks or something like that as opposed to what like 16 months <laughs> so um, slowly but surely I'm getting there anyway uh, on to the topic for the day which is running which I did today I ran 10 miles um, which was a lot I have not run since mid-July. I think the last day I run in July was like July 20th, something like that. And then I didn't run for about... I didn't run all of September, all of August, in the last half of July. So about two and a half months I didn't run. And uh, I'm all sticky. I just, I just got in and uh, I've got this fine coat of... Actually it was a rather thick coat of uh, salt on my face and body um, but I've wiped away a lot of it and I gotta go take a shower uh, and I'm keep wiping it off but I'm wondering I'm like trying to see if it's showing up and you can't really you can't really see it um, but you can see my face got a little red from running today because I was out there for about two hours uh, and that was a I still got my watch on it was a 1134 pace uh, what I what I was doing uh, I'm uh, Saturday, this coming Saturday, I have a half marathon that I'll be running, which is 13.1 miles for the uninitiated. And uh, I was trying a little strategy to see what I could do to try to uh, expedite this half marathon. I wanted to try. I wanted to see what I would have to do to um, try what I would have to do to, to get this thing in, in about two and a half hours. So, uh, like my worst case scenario, I'll do it in about two hours and 
37 minutes. I think that's like my uh, worst case scenario. I always set like 10 goals for each race. There's like the worst case scenario goal, which is um, like the last half marathon run, the worst case scenario goal was finish. And I did, I did finish. I was in an incredible amount of pain. Uh, and perhaps I'll go back and talk about that, but uh, I did finish it, so I'm proud of that. <laughs> and I don't even think it was my worst time. It was very close to my worst time. If it was not my worst time, but it was, I'm, I don't think it was my worst time. And this camera is not focusing for me, so I don't know what's up. With it. Anyway, don't want to get distracted. Um, what was I talking about? Running. See how easily I get distracted? Running. So I wanted I wanted to go out today and do a little thing to see how I would, my body would respond. So I started running uh, three minutes and walking one minute. So I did that over and over and over again. And uh, through like the first, I think the first uh, six miles, six or six and a half miles, uh, I did that steadily, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, and then the, um, uh, what I did is I started at um, Wave Country, which is a um, uh, water park here in Nashville, and the Greenway goes right by it, and um, the Greenway goes across the Cumberland River, there's a nice pedestrian bridge, it goes across the Cumberland River, and then it goes down and meets up with the Shelby Bottoms Greenway Trail. So uh, you can, I took that and I run in one direction and came back to the bridge. And when I got back to the bridge, that's when I, that was about six and a half miles, six miles, six and a half miles. I uh, took a little walk break uh, for about two minutes. Instead of taking a one minute walk break, I took a two minute walk break. And then uh, I went out and run um, the other direction on Shelby Park and did a couple of laps on the one mile. Uh, there's like a one mile loop, so I did a couple of laps on that. Because I was trying to get about 9 to 10 miles in. I actually thought I was only doing 9 miles, but it turns out, according to my watch, I did 10.23 miles. So, <laughs> um, I did, uh, uh, I know I know there was a couple of times in there that I run a little bit long, and I also had a couple of times in there that I walked a little bit long. The walking long was intentional. The running long was not ten intentional. My watch... Uh, does have have a forerunner 305 uh, one of the defects of this watch is that the speaker let me see if I can show you the speaker is uh, I don't know if I gotta get the lighting situation you see those four little dots kinda right there that's the speaker so that's right up next to your skin and uh, your sweat gets up in them and eventually the speaker goes kaput so you can either barely hear it or it doesn't work at all. So <clears throat> that's what's happened to this watch. <laughs> so I I have to look constant. I don't have to constantly look down, but I have to look down to see when my run intervals are over and when my walk intervals are starting and so forth and so on. So uh, the on the run intervals I uh, went a little bit long, not you know maybe 30 seconds or something like that, but uh, no big deal. And then uh, my last walk interval, I did two minutes because I was walking up kind of a big hill. And the half marathon that I'm training for, there are no hills whatsoever. So I don't feel like um, I really needed to exert myself or attempt to train for that because there are no hills. If you're looking for a flat and fast half marathon, um, the Murfreesboro Middle Half Marathon is marathon for you or half marathon for you because it is it is flat it is fast um, it is also very small and if you want to get in you pretty much have to sign up within about two or three weeks of the registration opening like in May so <laughs> um, you got to get in early or you won't won't make it uh, but anyway uh, I was really glad I was really happy that I, I got that 10 or uh, 11 33 um, that's certainly not anywhere near my best uh, pace for half marathon type distance uh, but uh, I think it's pretty good considering the amount of weight that I put on and uh, the utter lack of training over the course of two and a half 
uh, two and a half months and a very limited amount. I've literally only ran about five or six times um, since the beginning of October. So uh, I think I did pretty well. I feel, I still feel really good. I didn't uh, come away from it limping or my left leg did hurt a little bit. And that started really early on within like the first mile. My, uh, this uh, muscle on the back of your thigh, that, that muscle starting at the knee coming up. It was just really tight, and uh, I don't really know what caused that, but uh, it was it was hurting throughout pretty much the whole run. Uh, but it's it's fine now. Um, so, and I've run with tight muscles plenty of times before. So uh, you just a lot of that stuff you just got to run through it, and uh, it wasn't particularly painful. It did hurt a little bit, but it wasn't particularly painful. And uh, if you do a lot of running, you learn that it's not like you don't like people say, Oh, I feel great, and they really do. Like, they feel uh, I know I do, I feel great. Like, right now, I feel really great. Um, but um, physically, <laughs> uh, you learn to, I think, you learn to overlook a lot of little aches and pains and things like that when you run. So, you don't want to overlook every ache and pain but there's some that you know this is a muscle that always hurts or you know whatever and if it's not any kind of serious injury then uh, you really don't have to worry about it too much anyway I was really happy with my time and I felt good when I got done I wasn't completely exhausted I felt like I had you know another another three I, what I need is another three miles in the tank at that point I felt like I could do another three miles at that same pace uh, and maybe have a little bit left at the end to to run it out so um, we'll have to see how it goes on Saturday uh, the temperature will be a little bit down uh, which uh, for me is it's kind of a blessing and a curse uh, it's a curse when you first get started because your muscles are, are uh, my muscles work better in the heat and uh, not extreme heat but uh, when it's a little bit warm outside that uh, like today I think it was uh, 79 to 80 degrees out there while I was running so uh, that was a, a good temperature I felt like it might have been just a little bit warm but overall good, a good temperature uh, for running and uh, it's going to be uh, a lot cooler because I was out in the middle of the day it's going to be a lot cooler in the race there's about 30 it would probably be about I think last year it was in the race started in the low 40s maybe upper 30s or something like that so I'm hoping that it will be somewhere in the 40 degree range when the race starts and not down in the 30s because that would be kind of a bummer uh, but I want to wear my shorts I don't have to wear long pants or anything like that because I hate wearing long I, I don't think I wore long pants all winter long last year I bought some kind of uh, long johns and wore those under my shorts <laughs> and it looked ridiculous but it's uh, kept my legs warm and uh, I enjoyed that so anyway I'm very optimistic about the race coming up but much much more optimistic than I was um, uh, this time last week or even you know just like five hours ago so <laughs> um, uh, what I what I really want to do I definitely want to finish in two hours and 37 minutes that's a 12 minute uh, pace 12 minutes per mile pace that's my worst case scenario as long as I don't break a leg or you know knock on wood no, I hope I don't break a leg but as long as I don't get injured um, I should be able to do that uh, relatively easily. I'd love to break 2:30. I'd like to be in and under 2:30. I feel like uh, I feel like I can do that. Um, it'll be a little bit difficult, and I'll have to do some math and see if I can't figure out a way to help myself get to that point. Uh, but I, I definitely want to try for that. And uh, but anywhere between uh, 2:30 and 2:37, uh, I'll be happy with. 
Um, but if I can get in under 230, that'd be spectacular. We'll just have to see how it goes on race day. Um, and that'll be all she wrote once it's over. And I'll report back. Uh, that'll be my video for that day, hopefully. I'll have a, a video race report for that day. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I guess that's all I want to talk about today. It was a little bit lengthy video. But that's all right. Um, cause like I said, I just do them all in one take and what you get is what you get. And, uh, I guess that's it. Peace out. Talk to you later. Bye.